Uh, Sheikh, my question uh, is, un unfortunately, all the masjids in our residential area are controlled by the Deobandis, and the nearest one is around 300 meters from home. So it takes around three to four minutes to go there. Uh, now, as per Um Al-Qura, Maghrib began at 6.07 p.m. today, but the nearest masjid gave the adhan of Maghrib at 6.11 p.m., and they uh, began the iqamah in less than one and a half uh, minutes after the end of the adhan. That is at 6.15 p.m. So ultimately, my question is, uh, am I obliged to break my fast upon hearing this adhan and then pray Maghrib in the congregation of this masjid? Jazakallahu khairan, Shaykh. What jazak? Well, actually, this issue always reoccurs. We have a problem. Umm al-Qura says something, and the masjid adjacent to us says something else. Who should we follow? Basically speaking, as an individual, I'm obliged to pray and break my fast as soon as the sun sets. However, I cannot depend on the calendars because I'm not certain whether they're accurate or not, my watch is accurate or not. If I can see, if I'm living at the seashore and I can see the sun setting, once it disappears, I can break my fast and pray Maghrib, whether the masjid adjacent to me gave that then or not, I could care less. But if I don't have any visual or certainty that the sun has set, in this case, I must rely and depend on the masjid next to me because they are the one who's taking responsibility on the day of judgment for calling the adhan. I have no way of just, mm, yeah, it says it's time. No, this is a shari uh, uh, concept. And depending on the watch that might be mistaken or depending on the Umm al-Qura calendar where there could be one or two minutes difference between some apps, although they claim that they're following Umm al-Qura, I'm not following Umm al-Qura for certain, then this is problematic. I would highly advise you not to break your fast until you're certain that the sun has set either visually or by following the masjid Allah knows best.